Hi everyone, Josh from THT here. This is our last tips and tricks video for 2023. Today, I'm gonna to talk you through the flexible throttle control system and specifically the technical aspect in regards to setting the stroke lengths for throttle and gear selection if you're looking to purchase a new flexible throttle control system. Now these systems are excellent in regards to replacing any old tired throttle control systems on board a vessel. It doesn't matter whether it's a high nautic hydraulic system or otherwise an existing Morse cable style of a mechanical system or any other form or brand of electronic system. Flexible have an amazing range of throttle control systems for electronic or mechanically controlled engines. So we have three main components. We have the actuator box here, which in this instance controls a mechanical throttle to an engine and a mechanical control to a gearbox. Now, if you have an electronic system, these wouldn't be used and instead we'd have additional plugs on the front end of the actuator box. Again, we can do mechanical engine, electronic gearbox, vice versa, all electronic or all mechanical to suit all makes and models of engines. A very, very flexible system. We also have our throttle head here. This is the 4500 series, and you can see that this is set up for a twin engine installation in a vessel. We can, of course, also do a single just with the one lever. We then have another fantastic piece of equipment, which is the remote control. Now, this allows you to operate completely wirelessly control of your gearboxes, anchor winches, and any bow or stern thrusters. So you can dock your own vessel without ever being at a control station. An amazing piece of technology. Our quality officer is never far away when we're taking videos. So when you first power up the Flexball throttle control system, you see you have the two green lights come on. Now that indicates that you're currently in the neutral position on the gearboxes. We also have these awesome covers that sit over as a weather cover, which simply pop off from the back to again, give you more access, give you access to see the buttons. What you have to do is you have to take command of the throttle control system. That involves pressing the button, which shows command, and then you'll see you end up with a red light on, and a yellow light flashing. That indicates that we have command on this exact throttle head. The other one does nothing, no matter what we do. And the yellow light flashing indicates that we are in warm up mode. So therefore we only get a throttle movement without a gear movement. So it's another great safety feature for the initial startup. So as you can see here, we get throttle movement over here without gears. As soon as we hold down the warm up button, the yellow light goes off, we then get gears, and then our throttle movement as well. So now I'd really like to get into the technical aspect of showing you how to set up those stroke lengths. So hidden underneath the cover of the actuator box, you can see we have our controlling circuit boards. Now, when you first buy a flexible throttle control system, the point is, is that it is an easy system to install. Even if you're not electronically minded, it's very easy to set up and calibrate. All this cable here is our CAN bus cable, and it is a daisy chain arrangement to every other component in the line. So there is, apart from putting power into the actuator box, it is just one cable that daisy chains to all other components. So super easy to set up. We pre-preset -pre -pre everything here, so it's very much a plug and play arrangement uh, for anyone looking to update the throttle system. Now the important part. Connected in here are the cables, which then connect down to your engine throttle and connect down to your gearbox. So what we have to do is we have to set the stroke of these cables so it knows exactly where to start at idle, where to finish at full throttle, and where each of the three positions for forward, neutral, and reverse are. It's actually really easy to set the stroke on these and it remembers it forever. So, this is what you do. To conduct the initial stroke setup for throttle and gears, you have to disconnect the power plug on the front so the system powers down. You then hold down the up and the down buttons and reapply the power plug. Now you can see that brings up UL. This U represents the throttle function, L represents low, or in this case, idle. What we then do is we press the enter button, so UL flashes. We then use the up and the down button and we hold that down to physically move the lever until we get it in exactly the right position on the rack or the uh, lever on the side of the fuel pump for exactly where idle is. Once we're happy with that, we press enter to save it and that is now saved forever. The next thing we do is we press the up button to bring us to UH. UH represents throttle high or in this instance, throttle maximum. So again, we press enter and then we again use the buttons to hold them down to slowly adjust up wherever full throttle is. We then press enter to save it. 
Then we press up again and we go to O. O represents the gearbox function, L represents low, or in this case, reverse. So we press enter to adjust that. We then again use our up and our down buttons. In this case, we're going to send reverse as a push function until we're happy with the exact position. And then we press enter to save that. Again, up to the next one, OF. This represents gearbox neutral. So we again press enter, make it flash, adjust our up and our down, use our up and our down to adjust wherever the lever sits. Once you are very happy to the millimeter, press enter to save. And then we press up again, the last one, to go to OH, which is gearbox forwards. So we press enter again, and we move using the two buttons until we get the gearbox to the right position, exactly falling into the forward detent, and enter to save. That is all five parameters set. How to save this forever is pull out the power plug in the base of the actuator box, count to three, refit the power plug, and the system automatically goes back to the neutral and idle position. The other great advantage of the Flexball system is that with the mechanical systems, you've always got a mechanical override. So this little lever here, if you had any power failure on board the vessel and there was no power entering into the actuator box, all you have to do is flick this lever 180 degrees around and this lever then becomes loose to allow you to manually grab it and throttle up or down the engine. And to reset it, you flick the lever around and it locks back into position. And same with the gears. 180 degree flick, you've then got your position for full neutral reverse and to reset it back into lock for electronic control, flick the lever around and give it a shake till it drops back in. Very simple, but an amazing safety feature to ensure that you can always get home. As well as that, there's a cable here that connects in for a start interlock function to ensure so that your engine will not start unless the gearbox is in neutral position. The throttle control systems are such an important part of every boat and you rely on them every time you take the vessel out. So having a quality brand which is reliable is the most important thing. If you're considering repowering your throttles and replacing them with a new up-to-date latest technology system, the Flexball is a system you really cannot look past. With so many engines it can suit to replace so many different systems, you really can't choose a better system than the Flexball. Thanks very much for watching. This is gonna be our last video of 2023. We wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from the family here at THT. And we look forward to speaking with you in the new year. Have a safe and enjoyable break. Thanks very much for watching.